Hey, what is up guys? AJ here back with another video and here's my quick review of the OnePlus 2 Oxygen OS 3.0 Marshmallow Beta build after around 3 weeks of usage. So here's my quick thoughts on what the good and the bad about this little incremental update has been. Not really incremental though. So let me start by saying talking about the battery life. First of all, it was one of the issues I had earlier. And I've narrowed it down. The battery life isn't really great. I've narrowed it down though. The issue was that while using the phone, the phone, uh, the battery life was better than what was on Oxygen OS 2.2 Lollipop. But on standby, the phone isn't really saving battery. It's around 10% overnight. I think the issue here is, has to do with dose. It's that dose isn't kicking in or something. And just a quick reminder, if you don't know what dose is, dose is when it's a feature of Android Marshmallow where you put the phone on a flat surface and leave it and it's put the processor into a deep sleep mode which, which uh, saves a lot of battery. So battery life is a hit and miss here. Probably they'll figure out those in the proper Marshmallow build. Charging times have improved a little. Little, not anything great. So let's get about the phone now. The fingerprint scanner has become really, really stupidly fast. As you can see here, it unlocks pretty quickly. Let me crank up the brightness. It's just as simple as a tap now and it works. And just in case you are, it, you use a finger that isn't registered, it gives a haptic feedback. It's almost like Apple's 3D Touch on the 6S series. And it lets you know that it's not a registered finger, so you need know how to scan earlier. But fingerprint scan has become really, really fast. It's become stupidly fast now. I can unlock it while it's in my pocket now. So the accuracy has improved. After that, let's come to the camera. The camera performance has improved a little, nothing too great here. But the camera UI has improved and yes, it has the marshmallow shortcut via the double tap of the power button. So double tap the power button, the phone vibrates and the camera is on in, in a few seconds. So you can really get back to clicking photos directly. It's not very fast right now, but it'll probably improve in the future build. And the camera UI has become a little simplified now. So just a swipe takes you to video and photo. And the other features are still there in the pullout drawer from the left. So the camera performance has been great. You no longer can record in lesser resolutions. I think that was in the in an earlier build, it's gone now. And yeah, the photos aspect ratio has become a little easier to, to, to trigger. Nothing major here. Apart from that, uh, the color temperature slider on the top that comes here no longer works. It's broken, it's, it just moves, it does not make the color of the screen any warmer or colder, cooler. Uh, apart from that, the performance hasn't really improved. OnePlus coded an improvement of around 30 to 40 percent, but I really don't think that the performance has improved in any way. And, and uh, add to that that the throttling issues are back and the heating issues are back, it's not really much faster. The other issue I had earlier was that the loudspeaker output would become very less as at a very lower volume most of the times. That has been solved. I can get really clear and loud volumes most of the times. And it's working great. The performance has been perfect. The speaker is loud as always. And that's it for this quick review. Hopefully you liked it. And if you like this cover, leave a thumbs up in the video. Thanks for watching.